I use the openness of the brief tactile visions woven to have an expanded conversation on our relationalities with materials. Um, the processes by which we engage them, the kinds of histories uh, implicated by them, as well as how we envision ourselves and our world through uh, fabrics, um, through sartorial codes. Uh, of course, you know, in, in this country we have any, any, an immensely rich uh, history of tactile arts, for, whether it's beadworks, uh, embroidery, lace, uh, quilt making, uh, blankets, doilies, uh, to the making of baskets with uh, telephone wires, uh, even decorating with uh, pins, right? Um, but I also was interested in how contemporary artists are also using the language of everyday tactilities to also question a range of, of social issues, um, as well as redefining the very terrain of what we associate uh, with uh, fine art uh, materialities as such, versus uh, craft, uh, what was formerly known as women's art, or what is categorized as popular culture, fashion. And so um, contemporary art, uh, becomes reconfigured um, at this intersection of the, the everyday, which is, is what I find uh, fascinating with the, the range of, of artists. I, I chose to, to be in dialogue with each other in this exhibition. Um, and when the exhibition was initially conceptualized, that, that was very much what I conceptualized it as, as an intergenerational dialogue in which each artist work was in dialogue with the issues and the materialities that they were talking to. Uh, um, and whilst, while a little bit of that is lost on the online viewing rooms, I hope that artists still get a sense of that. Um, and so while you will get some of what you traditionally associate with uh, the tactile arts in terms of uh, uh, beadwork and embroidery, uh, and sewing works in terms of, you know, the works that you will see in Piliswa's work, Bev's work, uh, Zodwa's work with uh, the Namsamo Old Age uh, Center collaboration, um, uh, Wilhelmine's work as well. Um, I think you'll also find it very interesting, the, the ways in which they, they are pushing those boundaries as well. Uh, but I think also what's really interesting is the ways in which they are bringing forth uh, and engaging co the co contemporary issues uh, in their work. So you, the ways in which you'll find, for instance, the threads uh, that run through Wilhelmine's uh, work, uh, Ora Thiele's work, Lebo Hang's work, other ways in which they're tackling patriarchy in, in the various works, for instance. Uh, Wilhelmine is using, you know, uh, uh, old tea tray cloth and uh, she's embroidering and tackling a domestic violence uh, uh, in, in her work. Um, and and it's, it's an amazing metaphor to think of of the ways in which, you know, she's stabbing that cloth <laughs> all those many times, those thousands of stitches she's using to do that. Um, uh, through to Lebo Hang's work and those, you know, the doilies that she's using in her monotype um, uh, to, to, to speak to the, as a metaphor, to the black feminist killjoy figure, you know, who doesn't sit well within family spaces. Uh, who doesn't sit comfortably at the table um, to her her her, uh, her guns, uh, her finger guns, right? And she's creating these finger guns to flip off and flip out the patriarchy. Um, Oratile and his, his uh, the bed that we made performance where he's having this intergenerational dialogue and take with the can tembas uh, the suit um, speaking to the violence that pervades the home. Um, 
and then we, and then we have again tea trays emerging in in Nono's work and and here it's and the the, the tea tray and the doilies used to have a feminist conversation uh, imaginary com conversation with the mother uh, the kinds of conversations we wish we had with mothers where we can ask them about love how do we love why does love hurt so much and and to question why is it that we we can't ask these these questions of our mothers uh, uh, why is it so difficult with all the education that we have that we're never prepared for life in in this way uh, and, and it's incredible uh, that the language of the everyday uh, is used in this way the language of the tactile and the everyday is used in this way to weave this conversation um, it's also interesting how how um, works by 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 Londi where and and Bouchle Bez where show us how then the, the the language of materiality also structures our relationship with with the spiritual as well um, and that it's a fundamental part of, of how we access that which is not seen um, all, all the way through to 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 um, to Reshma as well who's who's also accessing the divine um, and the strength that the divine uh, this divine goddess brings uh, to tackle patriarchy again uh, when when in, in the sculptural works that is this mother goddess that laps up the blood of her of the enemy that she has devoured on the field uh, through to through through to through uh, Sophie who's now become this this warrior uh, figure in 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 the, the the most recent evolution of her as this red figure that we see in Mary Sabande's work um, and 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 so and and then in in, in in someone like Scott's work, we see how how the autobiography that that pervades many of these works uh, is also a, a a marker in just the everydayness of something like shoelaces, right? Uh, Scott weaves them into these 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 incredible paintings, uh, what looks like these modernist paintings, right? Um, and and there there are these crazy shoelaces that many of us might have actually grown up with in 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 the eighties, um, but but they've made a, a return through migrant populations, and they're also a marker of of um, of of how spaces, for instance, in Cape Town area have changed, um, and so uh, uh, sartorial codes, uh, the, these kinds of materialities also speak uh, to, to how societies change and how, and how cycles also change across the world and so they're a marker of, of cycles as well. Um, through to Skumbuzo's work who is also uh, dealing with, with, with excavating memory as well uh, through these kinds of performances in, in, uh, in which again sartorial codes play a, 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 huge, a huge role through the through the excavation of of performativity and paying ode to that which has which refuses to be buried which need not be buried um, and and uh, the, you know someone like uh, Tanya Peterson as well referencing that whole history that uh, her family comes from and and paying homage to that history uh, that that those kinds of fusions from that make up South African history, uh, uh, and and someone like uh, Zodwa also uh, her work her collaboration with the uh, uh, Nomzamo Old Age Center, uh, saying to us that you know fundamentally our relationship with materialities in this country uh, need to be redefined as well because these materialities that have been have have been deemed as craft uh, have also been colonized fundamentally colonized and so even this this term that is craft is not one that we can use uh, continue to use uh, in the ways that we have used them and and so um, I, I think that the exhibition uh, hopefully will will um, challenge uh, notions of materialities and tactilities and some of the boundaries and categories 
um, that that we've come to think about um, and some of the artists uh, that you may know uh, have uh, who do work with textile based uh, work may you might be presented with some of their most recent uh, interesting works and that you might also be presented with a whole new uh, range of emerging artists who are doing incredibly fascinating works and um, so I hope that this expanded conversation will be an interesting one.